Leopards of the liquid line, falcons with flying feet. It's December, and I'm still on the blades, thank Odin. Yes, there is a diamond of a rink in my hood, but I just can't get back into the cage. Not yet. I'm absolutely loving my new gyros as they are super freaky light. Add that overheating is not an issue at this time of year. And you know that I'll probably not be giving up inline until we get some buffalo style snow. Okay, not that bad. Probably Calgary style would shut me down. Send me to the ice cage. Today there is no theme. Not yet. I'm skating the way I do when I simply feel like flying. When I started skating, I had no idea where I was going. But I'm not surprised with where my feet have chosen to take me. If you've seen a few of my vids, you'll recognize some of my favorite spots. The trail is a decent place to hit in the autumn in the summer. It's almost a no-go zone with too many people. As for this wooden boardwalk, it rumbles too much to play with during the season. Some people would be outraged if they saw me skating it, they'd say. They've got a whole path of their own. Why do they have to skate on ours? And they'd be right. The Slobies deserve a place to walk unaccosted by people who are having fun. There's way too much of that in the beaches. The arm I messed up last month hasn't been on my mind this week. Hello. Yeah, I fucked the other one up. Yeah, I did it again. It was one of those crashes where I wondered if my organs were okay. The worst part is that it was not caught on camera. Oh, and the new bone niblets in my elbow. It's a very stark reality when I rest on my elbow at times. You'll see me screaming in restaurants, middle of the night, when I'm just leaning, talking to someone. These little shards get a little less sharp over time. This crash was about the worst one I've had since my King Street belly flop at about 30 kilometers per hour last year, I think it was. In my most recent debacle this week, I was at a skate park with an LED in hand. It was dark, but the LED gave me about 10 feet of visibility. I wanted a tranquil, dreamy night skate, which I got by following the curves and swell of cement. At one point, I saw that two smooth, gently downward sloping planes joined. I decided to roll the peak of the seam and drift one way or the other. But it was an illusion. Those gentle planes were stairs, and the seam was the corner of an L-set. If I could imitate the noises I made in the search for air at the bottom, I wouldn't. Way too emasculating. I should have felt lucky that everything landed at once, knees, hands, elbows, chest. But my right elbow took it particularly hard, and I felt extremely stupid for making a mistake that should have busted up my grill. I went home with one wheel screeching and an elbow that felt like a prosthetic. It pulsed from within, but no sense of touch on the skin. Never skate in poor light in a skate park. Never. Don't do it. Today is a new day, though. I'm not wearing elbow pads because the fresh bone chips cause significant discomfort under pressure. I'm not planning anything heavy. As usual. I'm holding out for an exoskeleton, a fitted roll cage with bionic support. This camera on a pole taxes my war wounds a little bit. I'll seek less pole cam until I'm restored to my former glory. I recently saw a Ford commercial where they referenced an inline skater with the headphones on as oblivious to everything around him. Shut the fuck up, Ford. You make soundproof capsules that are wired with stereos and riddled with blind spots. Your users are entirely disconnected from the environment they drive through. So glad I don't drive a shitty ass Ford. I judge companies by how brilliant or sad their advertising campaigns are. To look into how old fashioned or revolutionary their thinking might be. Ford's lame or Patriotic commercials often go down like a cup of cold sick. 
conservative, bloated, Merlot-drinking, suburban advertising schnooks. Yeah, they might drink Chardonnay. My favorite podcaster even ridiculed wee brute of the blunted blade recently. Well, most of us would assess it as ridicule. Joe Rogan, free-thinking, open-minded, human movement expert, is slagging off inline skating? Say it ain't so. It ain't so. Yeah, but it's still so. Yeah, I suppose it is. The Fight Companion episodes Joe recently started running are fragmented and fun. A group of guys watching UFC fights and talking shit. The alpha manny soup can get a little salty at times, but the genuine dynamics make the episodes very energetic and raw. I like them. Used to love them. It's all salvageable. Well, during one of these recent test fests, Joe inferred that there is nothing more gay than rollerblading. He even went on to mime a rollerblading 69er. His mimings are pretty good. His wildcat noises and Arnold impersonation are better, though. So, this gay sport stuff is coming from a dude who spends a long time in full mount and guard and loves nothing more than to get another man in a rear naked. That's right, it's called a rear naked. Somebody puts you in a rear naked, you're supposed to pull your pants. Self-defense. Somebody puts me in a rear naked, there's gonna be a mudslide. I'm going to say Joe was super caffeinated, properly sativinated, and partly inebriated when he did his bit. Dodgy bastard. As for the gay thing, I know some excellent gay skaters. While well, a few of them may have a little extra panache in their flow, for the most part, the hip bags and spandex are old news. Joe, I know your trusty sidekick, Brian, has once considered ripping his neighborhood in blades. Yes, I hear all. Imagine Brian leaner, faster, and with color. Brian was born to fly. I can feel it. Buy the guy some skates and all is forgiven. I'll get you a great deal and free shipping. Maybe even a two-for-one deal, but you have to promise me no rolling 69ers. You can wear your little hip bag, Joe. It's a violation of the new inline code, but we'll make an exception. I mentioned earlier the subject of themes. I'm happy to theme out my vids, serialize, stylize, whatever. I love trying new products, trying various wheels and skates lens depth to my discussions, viewpoints, and advice on equipment. But sometimes it seems as though I'm looking for the hook and missing the essence of the roll, which is afoot. Today, I didn't have to drive or streetcar to a venue to skate in. There's enough to keep me busy in my own hood. The puzzle of pavement is flowing nicely this afternoon. I think it's this lack of expectation from my flow that kept me from extreme viewer retention peaks in this video. Translation, the lack of expectation kept me from crashing horribly. Sorry for the spoiler. Tutorials have been fun too, but I believe in weighing every word and action used when committing to the forever land with advice videos. I'm going to make mistakes and this is an affront to my vanity. Being wrong forever. So tutorials brew for months and often take serious self-assessment and modification before mastery and then finally fluent dissemination. I'm seriously running out of shit I'm an expert in. I can see where my future instructional videos are headed. How to buckle your helmet firmly yet comfortably. Or how to drink from a water bottle while skating backwards. Which facial expression has the least aerodynamic drag? Oh, that's good. Smiling if you're going downhill, probably. Uphill you have to frown, which is easy enough. I am going to do one on lacing up skates. Seriously, sore feet stops so many people from skating. Nobody needs to have sore feet. There's a way out for everyone. 
I think comfort and stopping have been two of the biggest factors contributing to keeping people from rolling. As I mentioned, today is early December, and I'm planning to inline throughout the entire winter. Mother Nature may have plans for me, but I'm not her child. I already have a mother. Nature is my frenemy, a friend that makes me better, though moody and hard to predict. I can almost always think of a reason not to hit the road. People are crazy today, there's a full moon, my knee hurts, it's too cold, too hot. But then I must ask, can I skate? Yes. The answer is usually yes. There is no guarantee that tomorrow will be skatable. Time is my biggest frenemy of all, one whom I must repel and embrace. So when time gives me a gift, I must roll, and in doing so I keep a small part of that gift forever. And that's how I feel today. That's right, a rear naked, rear naked, rear naked.